Uh, no. After last night, I... And disinfect the tools. Well, chop chop. You don't know who's trapped in Uma's body. How did you figure the proportion? Performed a series of complex calculations, extrapolated some data, planned simulations. Meaning, you guessed. Hmm. ready. Tools, too. Good. Vesemir? Hookweed extract to deaden the pain. I know. Done this before. Eskel, make the incisions in his veins. Insert the tubes. Geralt, place the potion vials in the feeders. Open the valves. It doesn't matter in which order. The hook we'd work? If it hadn't, the pain would have sent him into shock. Killed him. So, everything's going smoothly? No, but it's within known norms. Administer the next potion. I had hoped... I'd hoped I would never have to watch this again. Why'd you keep the table, then? Geralt, next potion. Listen, we should stop this. Then Uma dies. Very painfully. Yennefer's right. Open the next valve. resilient as a young candidate witches. Without this, he... Yeah. Eskel, I'm sorry. Would you mind? Getting some rags on it. Siri in there. She could come out of this crippled, wrong in the head, just emotionless. Thought about that? I trust Yen. She knows what she's doing. Don't doubt that. But do we know what she's doing? She tell you how likely this is to work? Gentlemen, the floor's as clean as it'll ever be. And I need to be wiped down as well. No offense, but I'd rather Geralt did it. Understood. I'd prefer that too. Yeah. 
Yes. Uma's body is disintegrating on the inside. Once that's complete, we'll need to reform it. Or we'll die. You witches were given mutagens. We'll use spells. Hey, Yen. You're dozing off. No, I'm just resting my eyes. Yeah, it's called sleeping. Then do something to keep me awake. Pinching's apparently effective. Later, perhaps. For now, talk to me. Tell me a story. Ever tell you about the time Dandelion bought me a sword? Was that in Karak? Just after we... Decided to take a break, yeah. My swords had disappeared, doesn't matter how. And Dandelion insisted I had to be armed, decided he'd buy me a weapon. Came to me beaming. The truest Verolidan steel. Good price, too. So good it felt like I was stealing. <laughs> Naturally, Blade shattered for his barrier through. He's awake. It's time. Time to lift the curse. Prepare the phylactery. Listen, Sage. We didn't lift that curse to play riddles with you. Arwen. Arwen. Shram. In Skellige. Follow it into the mists. Hurry. Hurry. I tried to protect her. But the curse, the hunt, has not found the isle as yet. It is a matter of time. They detect her at once. Enough, Geralt. He's not yet free of death's grip. I'm going to get Siri. Hold up. Don't you think you owe us some answers? 
How do you know this Avalok? What's Siri been doing with him? Yennefer can tell you. Just keep an eye on him. He's not a friend. Perhaps not, but Siri apparently trusted him. We should at least take his words seriously. You heard what he said. Take Siri from that Isle of Mists, and the hunt will pick up her trail immediately. What then? I don't know. Guess we'll see. Geralt, you're in a hurry to get her, I understand. But you... we can't act blindly. You got something in mind, don't you? Come on, spit it out. Time we, the hunted, became the hunters. Geralt will find Ciri and bring her here. And the hunt will follow. They'll expect to catch us by surprise, and they'll be sorely disappointed. If we plan to fight them, we five, in a crumbling castle. Do we have a choice? Besides delaying the inevitable? Pretty boy could try to round up a few others who know how to swing a sword. Or wield magic. Fine. I'll get Siri and recruit some allies. Bring everyone here. Got a few favors I can call in. Any good-looking women in that batch? Mm-hmm. Exclusively. And you? What do you plan to do? I've Avalok to care for. He's certain to die without gentle, gradual magic treatment. There's hope if I help him. Not much, but better than naught. The boys and I'll consider how we should greet our uninvited guests. All right. Time I was on my way. Good luck, Wolf. And give Cirilla our love. Come back quickly, Geralt. Good. Your Imperial Majesty. Witcher, why have you come? I've managed to find out where Ciri is. Finally. I'd begun to doubt the wisdom of enlisting you. Bring her here at once. The Wild Hunt's pursuing her. Kaer Morin's the only place she'll be safe. That was not a suggestion. I can defend my own daughter. I don't doubt it. Against conventional foes, the Wild Hunt's different. Facing it here would put Vizima at risk. Hundreds of innocents could die. Kaer Morhen is in a wilderness, and your army stands to be far more helpful there. Hmm. 
Agreed. I shall send a banner with you. On one condition, General Voris will lead it. Can't agree to that. And I cannot agree to witches commanding my troops. Well, I'm not about to give in. You don't look it either. Sorry to take up your time, Your Majesty. Bring me Siri. I will, if that's what she wants. Yes, Hen as Queen. Come on. Rats, why did he need them? Bloody rope. Kira, what are you doing? Geralt. <laughs> you gave me quite a start. But nay, the mage says bring me rats and healthy ones. Not something the cat dragged in. This the lamp from the elf's hideout? And what's this about rats? Nothing important. I'll explain later. Now, tell me, to what do I owe the pleasure? I finally know where Ciri is. I want to take her to Kaer Morhen. Is that so? Nice to hear. But, is there any particular reason you're telling me this? Well, the Wild Hunt will know I've found her when I do. They'll attack. I want you to help me repel them. Ah. <laughs> This is awkward. I mean, I'd gladly help, but I have a few more things to tend to in this charming dunghole. Perhaps, if you were to help me first... <laughs> Let me think about it. You know where to find me? Mentioned you wanted something from me. I did, and still do. The Cursed Isle on Lake Windama. You've heard of it, I'm sure. The local peasants mumble incessantly about it, about the wraiths that haunt it. They claim none who go there return. How'd it come to be cursed? That's what I don't know. I must break this spell, yet I've been unable to identify its source. Gotta know something. Scraps. The curse is somehow linked to the tower where Serard, the lord of these lands, took refuge when Nilfgaard invaded. Claims in the village are that peasants, desperate of hunger, sailed to Fike Isle to beg for food. Met their end there. It was a massacre. So, will you please help me lift this curse? You're so good at these things. All right, I'll help. I knew you'd find it irresistible. Naturally, you'll need to sail to Fike Isle. Fine. What then? Well, the spirits who wander the Isle, you must establish a rapport with them. Don't know how, but they could point us in the direction of the curse's source. Think they'll be willing to chat? Of course, provided you take my magic lamp with you. I shall let you keep it afterwards in appreciation. You'll find it quite useful, I'm sure. How's the lamp actually work? I mean, do I just rub it, or do I have to do something, um, magical? <laughs> you needn't even rub. Just place it where you find bones and hear whispers. Um, I suppose I should warn you. It might not be the most pleasant experience. 
figured as much. Tell you all about it later. Maybe skip the drastic bits. You'll need to do neither. I'll give you a Xenovox. It's a bauble that will let us speak over some distance. You will tell me what you see, and I shall tell you what to do and look for. So, where'd you get the Xenovox? Found it in the mine along with the lamp. Thought it was part of the lamp at first. Didn't realize what I'd actually found until later. Think it belonged to the Elven Mage? Clearly. And I didn't even know the Elves used them. Never heard of a Xenovox. It works just like a Megascope, but is far more portable. Think of it as a magic box that talks. They hard to build? Extremely. That's why they're so rare. I certainly couldn't build anything like it. So no chance these Xenovoxes will catch on with every mage using one? Not the slightest. I need to know anything else before I go? No, that is all. Oh, go already. I can't wait to see what you discover on Phi Kyle. Just be sure to come and see me afterwards. And... Geralt. Hmm? Thank you. Just when I was starting to miss you. So, bet you saw this question coming. What are you doing here? Let me think. Enjoying the country air? Admiring the unspoilt scenery? Or is it furthering the age-old alliance between the city and its breadbasket? No, I'm in hiding, Geralt. Blind to the state of the world? Don't you see what's happening? You mean the persecution mages now face? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Radovid's new pastime. Pursuing anyone with a whiff of magic about them. Witch hunters. Sound familiar? Murderers scouring the north from end to end. Burning books, hanging soothsayers, torturing herbalists. Changing the subject. See you, Kira. Just when I was starting to miss you. Why do you want the lamp? You just witnessed why. To communicate with lost souls. Didn't know you were interested in that kind of magic. There's nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. Why'd the elf promise you the lamp? We traded for it. He needed powerful magic and sensed I was no common wart charmer. I brewed him a potion. To delay nervous tissue degeneration, stave off memory loss or some such. Who do you want to use it on? He didn't say. Any news of your sisters from the lodge? None. We can't know too much about one another these days. It's safer that way. Even tried to contact one another? I've wanted to many times. But I've no way of knowing who would answer. Or who might be listening. Bet the old witch who lived here left you a bunch of interesting sundries. She did indeed. I gather you'd like a look. Very much so. Not so fast, Roach.
Almost there. Splendid. I shall contact you again soon. Wait. This Xenovox. Can I contact you with it, or is it one way? One way only, I'm afraid. You'll have to trust my feminine intuition. Your what? My feminine intuition. Wonderful. Doesn't look like the work of necrophages.
Show me what you got. Led them here. Hunger or greed. The place is full of rats, as many dead as alive. I think they're feeding on it. You needn't be so deep. didn't come here to ask nicely. Let's try Kira's lamp. Where's that noble? Where's that noble? Blood. Many must have died here. Where's that noble? Lying here, quiet as a mouse. Head split open like a rotted pumpkin. More like a peasant now. Sloshing around in his own blood and shite. There'd be nothing noble about him. Too quick a death they gave him. Should have been made to suffer. He's not the end of it. Sons can suffer for him. And the daughter. To the top! Rich folk. Doubt I'll ever understand them. Keeping rats in cages like rabbits. Let them out, maybe. Like to die of hunger if we leave them there. I'd sooner burn the vermin. Releasing them's not like to bring no good. Imagine the harm they'd do if they swam back to the village. Swam? Rats? How do you figure they'd do that? You needn't fret for them. Clever little bastards. Clever in you. Hmm. They seem sluggish to you. Got the mange, maybe? Oh, and that stench! Don't start, Annabelle. Back to your craft. Always bending my ear about fool peasants. I'm not here of them again. That simpleton turned your head. But one Graham hardly makes the rest courtly, one and all. My lord, peasants, they're through the door in the tower.
any good now, will it? Stranger is still here. The noble died a time ago. Who's that? Show yourself. Anyone there? Who? Who are you? the floor, or dragged it from one wall to the other, repeatedly. Experimenting on humans. Never would have gotten away with it if the Conclave were still in charge. Why did you leave? You claimed to love me. I'm cold. Why has no one come for me? I cannot leave this place. I see no way out. Who are you? Do you seek to hurt me as well? Don't be afraid. I want to lift the curse that grips this island. Your turn to tell me who you are. The other ghosts, they couldn't see me. I'm special. Always was. The rare beauty. The Lord's daughter. These lands, as far as the eye can see, were ours. My family and I were hid in the Major's Tower to await the war's end, the end of hard times. It was not to be forever. Mage who lived here, who was he? Alexander? I hardly knew him. He spent most of his time locked away in this tower. He's dead too, you know. They're all dead. Mountains of corpses, yet I stand here alone, all alone. They've all abandoned me. Even he who promised me everlasting love. You will abandon me as well. If I can lift the curse, you yourself will be free to leave. Tell me what happened here. Peasants sailed to the island to ask for food. Is that true? No. They came to rob and kill. They thought us rich, believed we'd stowed ourselves away here to laugh at their misery. Yet we had little food as well. Too little to share with those who came. They slaughtered everyone. I heard my father cry out, but the mage told me not to reveal myself or let anyone in. He gave me a potion. If I was discovered, I was to drink it. He said everything would be all right. What kind of potion was it? Remember its smell, what it looked like? I remember only that I feared to drink it. 
didn't trust the mage? In the village, they claimed he meddled in disease. Not curing it, but causing it. They said he lured rats into the tower, infected them with the Catriona. Only rumors, surely, but I was afraid. So horribly afraid. And then I heard him. My beloved Graham. He called to me. I opened the door for him, but others rushed in. They lunged at me and... and... Did they hurt you? They gripped my arms, tore at my dress. I managed to free myself and drink the potion, and then... nothing. Poisoned? That how you died? No. For I later awoke. I was alone, it was dark. Only there were rats. Everywhere. Dozens. Hundreds. And I... couldn't move. Sleeping potion. Effects hadn't worn off yet. You were paralyzed. They were everywhere. All over me, like insects. My face, my hands. I felt them rip open my skin, then crawl into my stomach. They tore me apart, and I could not even scream. Have I not suffered enough? Why can't I leave this place? A curse born of hatred binds me to this place. Only love's power can hope to lift it, but who could love a race? And your beloved, he dead too? Graham. No, he lives. I would know if he died. But he fled and abandoned me. Left me here all alone. Maybe you could strip the curse of its power by forgiving him. You might cleanse the isle. As I see it, you're the curse's focus. The other ghosts on the island, their auras aren't nearly as strong as yours. My medallion started pulsating as soon as we started talking. I don't know what you mean, but you do seem to know some things. You could be right. My fate is tied to the isle, I feel that. Perhaps because I am heiress of these lands. It could be your blood ties to the land, the base of the curse, that is. If so, Forgiving Graham, laying your resentment to rest should lift it. I loved him. I'm prepared to forgive him. But I must know that he regrets what he did. Take my bones to him. He must bury them. This will be our farewell. Will you speak to him? Will you do this for me? Fine. I'll talk to Graham. Where will I find him? He lives in the village on the lakeshore, yet... What if he's forgotten me? If he loved you, he'll remember, and want to help. He said he would always love me. Go to him. Make haste, please. Kept in there until the end. What a shitty way to die. <laughs>